Today is my last day in Wellington. I'm really excited to be joining my family at home tomorrow in far north Queensland. I've been here for the last year and a half in New Zealand working for Weta Digital on projects like Gemini Man and The Avengers. And uh, tomorrow is going to mark the start of a new day for me, a uh, new project uh, where I continue to explore visual effects workflows in the cloud. Um, this is a project that I've been researching for quite a while now and I've been trying to extend my own uh, capabilities within the cloud as well as exploring how the cloud applies to studios of different sizes. So, you know, in the case of uh, a medium to large size studio, uh, where the cloud can make sense is primarily in the ability to be able to burst artists all around the world. Um, and that is very much untapped. It also, um, the cloud is an advantage also in the ability for um, companies of any size to be able to um, burst their top end abilities of their farm. If they're hitting a point where their farm's at 100% utilization all the time, um, then it's probably affecting their productivity. It's affecting artists' ability to iterate and to see rapid feedback on their work. Um, so being able to use the cloud as a, a kind of a buffer at your top end is gonna help you extend your abilities. And it's gonna make sense to do that at the until a point where you reach, you're able to reduce utilization um, so that you're not hitting that top end of your own farm so much. Um, it also is important to recognize that if you're a small studio or a medium-sized studio and you're not able to keep your farm spun up to 40% utilization for its lifetime, you probably shouldn't own that resource until you predict that that's gonna be the case. Uh, if you are using your systems less than 40% for their entire life, and let's say that's a lifetime of say three to four years, then you probably shouldn't own that resource on site. Um, where the cloud's also uh, super interesting is for individuals that want to be able to extend uh, their own abilities because we've never really had access to uh, such huge scale render power and be able to pay for that resource per minute. So it's so convenient. And that also represents what's traditionally been a huge barrier to entry for um, any individual, small or medium sized studios, uh, and, and the investment that can sometimes be required to be able to deliver high end images. So in, in my case, I have a virtual workstation that is set up in Sydney, and I've been using that from Wellington. Uh, I continue to see its performance improve all the time. Um, that software is getting better and better all the time. And that virtual workstation only has to move the display data to my current location in Wellington. But it is actually connected to uh, a very large scale network that I pay per minute to increase the scale of. So it's connected to huge amounts of storage um, more than I could possibly need as long as I'm willing to pay for it and I'm able to pay for it per minute. Um, it's the same with render power, which is able to scale up to thousands of cores and that I'm able to pay for per minute. I'm also able to have access to uh, large numbers of GPUs that normally wouldn't be possible for me. Uh, so these types of abilities are super enabling and I'm gonna keep, uh, keep you in the loop for how this project works out for me and uh, wish me luck.